Hello Muppets and thank you for joining me back at my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a get ready with me type of video. I've gotta go do some errands outside so I wanted to do my makeup. Um, so I don't want this video to be too long and I don't want to be like talking a lot. Because usually my videos run too long. Okay so I did my eyebrows. They look kind of janky. Um, I'm growing them out so... You know, I'm trying to fill them in the best way I can. So I need to moisturize up underneath my eyes before I start <clears throat> my makeup. Just so it could just like soak in and sit in. Um, so it can help out my concealer and correctors and stuff when I put them on. But I really do want my under eye really hydrated. And I'm using the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. Okay, my friends. <laughs> I'm going to use this. I can't find my tape, so I'm going to have to use this so I can have a sharp line. So I'm going to use my um, Nubian palette today. I'm going to use both of them. I did do a review on these palettes, and I will leave the link below. So we're going to be using these two palettes today. Okay, so first I want to start off with the transition color. Um, let's see. I like both palettes because um, they have just really great colors. I'm going to come up just a little bit. Alright, so I need a blending brush. I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to go into this gorgeous um, color right here. I kind of, oh, what am I doing? I like, um, I like when companies name their shadows so I could just basically tell you which one to use. But So I'm just going to place this in my creased and really um, blind muffins. So I'm going to take the um, Nubian 2 palette and this is one of my favorite color sets in this palette. It's like a nice burnt orange type of color I guess I should say. Um, the color is called Morocco. So I'm just going to take my Sigma E40 brush. I'm just going to dip that into um, and another thing with these palettes, even though the palettes are really, really good, you do get a lot of, like, fallout when you tap your brush into it. So make sure before you start applying it to your eyes that you tap it off. And you're going to have shadow everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to build this color up. I'm going to start off with just a little bit. And then I'm going to apply a little bit more. Just really love this color. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into this palette here. Focus camera. I'm gonna take this really nice chocolate color. It's called Kenya. And I'm gonna take the same brush, and you can see the color there. Tap off the excess, and then I'm gonna just um, put it on the end of my eye. I'm mainly just trying to focus all of these rich colors on the end, and because I got I lost a little bit of intensity of that orange color, I went back and just added a little bit more. But I have to go back in to blend it. I'll blend out more when I put my highlight. Really, really color. stressful week for me. I mean, like really, really um, life changing experience. But as me and my sisters always say, the way this DNA is set up, um, I'm a survivor. You know. So, it's really easy when things happen to you to really get, now I'm a type of person, I always worry, like not really worry, but um, I usually stress over things a lot and that usually is no good. It gives me headaches and stuff like that, but you know, with this current situation I'm going through, there's really nothing I can do about it, you know what I mean? So... I'm just going to roll with it and as long as God is in control I'm okay and I have my family and friends with me <laughs> all right muffins so I'm just blending and okay so I'm gonna go into the color called Leela I think it's called Leela and I'm using my coastal sense pointer brush I'm gonna go into this color here and I'm mainly going to focus that, again, on the outer part of the eye. But I want to deepen this part of my eye up just a little bit. So I'm going to concentrate that color right there. I'm 
I'm gonna take it down just right there. And I'm just basically placing it right about now and then I'm gonna go back in to blend it out. Okay, so as you can see, I just placed it there. So now I'm gonna go into the highlight color. I don't know if I'm gonna regret doing this because I really never use shimmery colors as a highlight. I don't know. So I'm gonna go into the color Zori. It's a gorgeous, oh my god, like a, a gorgeous uh, champagne gold type of color. I'm going to start off with just using a little bit just to see how that's going to look. Oh, that's pretty. I really do like that. I'm going to have to blend that out though. I usually don't use shimmery color. Okay, so I'm going to take my Inglot eyeliner gel in number 93. It's a nice silver metallic color. I'm going to use this on my lid, so I'm going to get a brush. And I'll use one of my double duty brushes from um, BH Cosmetics, and this is the 138 brush. So I'm going to use this side of the brush. I'm just going to take it into the pod, and then I'm just going to place this on my lid. Okay, muffin. So I'm going to go back into the, um, the original Nubian palette. I'm going to use this really pretty um, champagne color here. I'm just going to take that and put that in the inner part of my eye, not all the way going across. And make sure you tap off your brush with this. So I'm just going to place this right here. And I'm patting it because that gel um, eyeliner that I put down, is, it's like a sticky base. The color Sheba. And I'm going to use the Nubian 2 palette. This color sheet, but this is a really, really nice color. So remember, I have that dual in brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to take the black side of it, though. I'm just going to pat my brush into it. Kind of build it up just a little. Tap off the excess. These are really, really powdery. And I'm going to go and just... Okay, this video is going to be, I don't know, all over the place. Alright, so um, I'm just going to show you how I conceal my dark circles. I'm not going to really show you what foundation and all that type of stuff I'm using. Because I'm just using a really light foundation today. And this is one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore. This is the CoverGirl Queen Collection. And my color is in Rich Mink. Um, so let's start with the under eye corrector. Now I do a lot more probably than the average person it's only because my dark circles are really really bad all right so the first thing I'm going to use is I'm going to go into my this is a close one LA girl corrector in like orange and I have an open one this is a sorry my face I have an open one and you really do need to shake this product so I'm just going to add a little bit of that on like to cover, start correcting these dark circles of mine. And I go all the way out with them because I have darkness all around my eye. Now, what I usually mix with this is my MAC um, concealer, not concealer, highlighter pen. And this is the color Peach Luster. So this is a highlighter pen. It's for a highlighter, but I also use it to do correcting too. So I start up with the heavier orange color, then I go up underneath it. Now, this might be a little bit much for the average person, but I just really, really have dark um, circles. So I'm going to use my Beauty Blender sponge to um, blend it out. But let me go wet it just a little bit more. It's still a little bit too light. Okay, so I'm going to blend it out. I have my son wet it for me. And usually, you really want to work fast with the LA Girl. I always confuse this crap. The LA Girl um, concealer, because it does dry pretty quick. But I'm going to blend it out as much as possible with the sponge. And then I'll go back in with a brush if I need to blend it out a little bit more. So this is going to correct those terrible dark circles that I have. I try to get it all the way up in there. Okay, so then I go into my BH Cosmetics, <clears throat> excuse me, BH Cosmetics Pro Studio 
concealer wheel I really do like this wheel a lot so I'm gonna go into the orange color just a little bit more I like this orange color because it, it has a little bit of like a reddish tone to it and I really do like that I have to go in when I'm doing color corrector because you know my, my circles are really bad okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my foundation and then I'll come back to let you see how I set everything. All right, Muffin. Okay, Muffin, so I applied my foundation already. Just a light coverage. Um, I'm not doing too much with the foundation and stuff today. Okay, so then I'm going to go into um, two more concealers. One is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in... What color is this? beautiful bronze and then the other one is in toast toast so I mix these two together so I start one layer off Ooh. not a lot of it though I really do like these um, concealers they give great coverage Now, I'm not going for that highlight, like that really highlight under eye. I'm just more worried about trying to cover the um, darkness underneath my eye. So, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender again, and I'm just going to blend that out. The color and toast it. And a little bit there just to brighten the effect just a little bit okay and what I normally do is that I will go into my um, matte concealer in NW35 but if I find like the highlight is a little bit too much I will just mix in like a little bit of max concealer in NW45 but let's see how this turns out first. So I'm just going to take a little pump. Oh, always pump out a little bit too much. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit. Just tap it there. I'm going to put some here. Some in my cupid bow. And I usually don't try to highlight this big ass forehead I have or my chin. Because they're very, very long, I guess. But um, I'm going to take a little bit of this and go here with it. And here. Now, whatever's left on my hand, then I might just do like a tap of it, like right there. See, it's not a lot. I don't want it to be over bright. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, blend all of this out. I just felt like it was a little bit too bright for me so I went into max concealer in NW 45 and I just placed a little bit of that just to tone down the brightness I'm really I don't really like that high beam bright look up underneath my eye and for me I just feel like it just accentuates my fine lines that I have underneath my eyes Okay, so I'm going to set this as quick as possible. So I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm going to just get like a wedge, like a wedgie wedge. I'm going to pour a little bit into the cap. I really do like this. Oops. And you really don't need a lot. I'm just going to take what's on the top. And that's actually a little bit too much, but... We'll take that on the top. So now I'm going to blend out first and then I'm going to quickly put the powder up underneath so it doesn't crease. Just make sure it's all blend out. 
and I'm not going to let that sit for too long. I'm really not trying to bake it. I'm just trying to set the all of that concealer. And like I said, muffins, I use a lot more concealer than probably most people. And this is just what works for me. Making sure that I take the powder go all the way up underneath there. Let's sit for a little while. It's not going to get too bright. Um, I really do like that um, powder. So I want to go in. I was going to do like my cream contour or whatever. I don't think I'm going to do all of that dramatic stuff today. Um, it's really not that serious today. I'm not going to move for it. All right, so I'm going to take my MAC. Um, what is this stuff? Uh, mineralized skin finish and I'm just gonna get a kabuki brush and I'm gonna set the rest of my face and then I'll go in with um, my contour I'm gonna do a powder contour don't feel like really messing with the creams and stuff too much now my favorite contour palette is actually from elf um, and I have a lot of contour palettes, palettes like Anastasia, all types of high-end and low-end. But I always seem to come back to my favorite um, cool bronze palette by e.l.f. Love this. I mean, I really, really, really do love this palette. All right, so I go into the darker color here. And I'm just going to um, bronze up and contour a little bit. So I don't want too much of it, so I just tap off a little bit on the back of my hand. And <clears throat> because I have a long chin and a number 27 forehead, I try to do a little bit more contour probably than the average person. I layer a lot of my colors on. I just love this palette like I really really love it and I need to go back in again I'm gonna buff out see the lightness I'm gonna buff out all of that once I finish getting my um contour powders on and stuff Ooh, I'm messing up my hair all gel that, gel that back down <laughs> I do a little bit over my nose, not too much. I'm not really going to looking to do too much of a heavy contour today. So just something a little light. And I find that now that my hair is really, really short, that I do need to do my um, have my bone structures come out a little bit more, so I could just balance my face. Like I said, I have a big forehead, <laughs> so got a big forehead you don't know what we go through all right so I'm gonna go into my cover girl queen collection powder and ebony and this is a bronzer too so now with this I take a little bit more of a denser brush and I don't go too deep into it I just tap it so it's like really little like maybe once or twice just a little bit and then I'm just going to, I'm just doing this to bronze my skin oh my god I'm just messing up my hair to bronze it. I want to blend in all of that powder and stuff that I put on my face. Just bronzing it muffins. I always place them on my ears because they're exposed now. Okay. So I'm going to go into uh, maybe like a glow, but I want to take, I want to take um, some powder and like to wipe off the excess of the powder that I have on my face. So I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics brush and this is the number two. I'm going to take my um, Sephora powder and this is in deep. Let me see what the other color is. I think I'm using the wrong one. I have one in deep. Oh, I got two of them in deep. Okay. Where's the other one at? I don't know. 
All right, so I'm going to take very little. I'm just going to tap my brush off in it, and I'm just going to wipe off the excess of the powder. Nothing too dramatic. I'm going to spray down my face, too, because it does look a little bit powdery. It's because I'm using a lot of powder. So the last step, basically, before I do my lips is just um, blush. I'm not quite sure what I want to use. So when I'm not quite sure of what blush I want to put on my face, I go to my favorite. And muffins, when I tell you I have a lot of blush, like high end and low end. But my favorite blush is the e.l.f. Um, blush palette. And I think this is the dark one. Yeah. I love this palette so much. These colors are just everything. They look fantastic on um, darker skinned women. So I'm going to take a little bit of the purple, well the pink color here. And I usually mix them. So I'm going to take this one and this one. Just tap it on just a little. And that this is really, really pigmented. So I tap a little bit of it on my back of my hand. Just very lightly muffin. I'm not looking to have a lot of blush today. Just a little flush of color. This looks really pretty. I love this stuff. Like, I don't have e.l.f. palettes and all of that stuff anymore. I got rid of a, a lot of their palettes and brushes and stuff. But I have a lot of their um, <clears throat> blushes and single eyeshadows. Like, I really, really do love e.l.f. <clears throat> I'm sorry, muffins. I'm sorry. I'm a little... It's getting hot, and I think my allergies are kicking up. So, what I'm going to use to bronze, I mean, to glow is my BH Cosmetics um, Bombshell Bronzer. I love this stuff here. So, I usually just go into whatever colors that I feel and just lightly glow the skin a little bit. Not too much muffins. I mean, I'm liking the the simple look. I mean, it looks like I ha I do have like makeup on, but it's not all so dramatic, and that's what I'm kind of looking for. I'm gonna take a brush. Also, what I do is to take a brush and I go into the four colors and I go right here just to brighten that up just a little bit. Just you know, just to have like a little brightening effect there. I don't know what I'm going to wear on my lips though. Okay. So I'm going to go back in with one more. I love this one. This is by Milani. This thing will never, ever, ever. I don't think I could ever finish this pout, this stuff in one lifetime. Like I've had this for years. Just a little bit. A little bit more of a golden look. I'm just going to sweep a little bit of that through my eyebrows. I mean, eyes. I'm not quite sure what lip product I want to use. I don't really have a go-to lip product. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Okay, so I just decided to go into the archives. Um, These things came out such a long time ago. It's such a sad thing that when YouTube just hypes up so many products and you get them and then you never use them again. So I have the whole collection of the, I don't remember when this came out, like a year or two ago. These are the um, Maybelline, what was these things called? Maybelline Nude, Nude Collection. And they had like new colors for each skin tone. And I ain't gonna lie, muffins, I fell into the hype. And I, I really never used them since I think I showed them in a video. So I think I will use them today. So I'm gonna use two. I'm going to take the one in Maple Kiss and the one in Touchable Taupe. So let's go with the Touchable Taupe one first. Let me just come up a little bit. So I'm going to line my lips with this off the brand lip liner, um, MNN. What color is this? It's just color 022. So I'm just going to line my lips a little. Maybe I should have used a brown, but whatever. And it would have helped if I would have sharpened it, right? Yeah. I'm 
I'm sorry, my face. I was eating um, chicken, so I had a little bit around my mouth. Goodness gracious, what is my son doing? Okay. So then I'm going to go into Touchable Taupe. And this is a really pretty color. Really, really pretty. My lips are so dry. Okay, that's a really, really pretty color. Then on top of that, I'm going to use Maple Kiss. And this is number 925. This is a really gorgeous color. This color more match with my um, lip liner. So I'm just going to go over. I kind of feel like I need to have a little bit more of a color on my cheeks. So I'm going to go into a blush. Blush. Um, let's go by Sleep by Three. You remember when these muffins was like off the hook on YouTube? Everybody and their mamas was getting this, and I really do like them, but I just I don't know, I just don't really use a lot of the products that I buy because I usually have too much. Okay, so uh I think I'm gonna go into that little that orange color right there. I'm not gonna use a lot, I'm just gonna lightly dab my brush in, see how little that is, and I'm just gonna sweep that the apples of my cheeks and back a little and I'm using the BH cosmetics number one brush just lightly 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 I just want a little bit more of color to my cheeks just to balance it out I just feel like it wasn't really balancing out too well yeah there we go it's pretty and I need one more thing i'm gonna go into my nika k highlighting i have a um highlighted video that's i'm going not highlighting highlighting my like my highlighting products that i use on my face um i'm gonna do that video today so i just want to go a little bit more into that bronzy color just want a little bit more of a bronze here and i always put some here since my hair is short and i like the way the light catches that a little bit it's just a subtle tweaks and tricks that I like to do. I think now I kind of pay attention a lot to my bone structures now since I've cut my hair. And it's a, it's a pretty cute thing. Go right here and I'm going to go right down here a little. I just want to glow just a little bit more. I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend it out. Just a little bit more of a glow. Focus. Okay. Now, the last thing I always do is to darken my mold there. Oh my god, I'm going to kill my son. And that's it, muffins. Um, I hope this video was not too long. Usually my videos are. So this is what the final look looks like. I think it's really pretty really pretty really simple and I guess that's it muffins thank you muffins for sticking around and joining me back at my channel um if you have not subscribed subscribe it's free all right muffins so I will talk to you lovely muffins later love you guys bye